हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेश कुमार एंड टुडे माय लेक्चर ऑन टॉपिक वर्जर डिजीज द वर्जर डिजीज इज थ्रम्बो एंजाइटिस ऑबलीट्रेंस द थ्रम्बो एंजाइटिस ऑबलीट्रेंस इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री टर्म्स थ्रम्बो एंजाइटिस एंड ऑबलीट्रेंस द थ्रम्बो मीन्स रिलेटिंग टू क्लॉटिंग ऑफ ब्लड एंजाइटिस मीन्स इन्फ्लेमेशन ऑफ द वॉल ऑफ स्मॉल ब्लड वेसल्स also known as vasculitis and the obliterans means producing obstruction due to inflammation and fibrosis so the throm uh, thromboangitis obliterans is inflammation of wall of small blood vessels that producing obstruction due to inflammation and fibrosis that cause a disease known as berger disease before going to uh, describe the berger disease you know basic about artery and arterial disorders the artery are the vessels that carry the oxygenated blood from heart to tissue of body parts it is located in whole body parts it is made up of three layers and on anatomical basis inner layer middle layer and outer layer inner layer is the tunica intima is that is the endothelial layer tissue and the middle layer is tunica media made up of smooth muscle and elastic connective tissue the outer layer is tunica externa which is made up of white fibrous connective tissue the artery has thick muscular wall as compared to vein and have smaller lumen than vein the arterial diseases affects the arteries of the human body and the peripheral arteries disease as common the example are berger disease renaud's disease etc in figure you see the photo of berger disease the berger disease binny walter 1879 first described the berger disease in their literature the professor of urology leo berger published the details about this disease in 1908 and 1924 the berger disease is basically an arterial disorders and it affects most commonly in young adults mostly in male and mostly are almost in smokers or tobacco users in berger disease inflammatory reaction at arterial wall happen along with involving vein and nerve the adjacent are surrounding nerve and vein affected by the inflammatory action of the arterial wall so the overall symptoms produce with this reaction what are the etiology of uh, berger disease the exact etiology are not known or cannot be said that this is the actual cause of uh, berger disease but there are some situational conditions are predisposing factors which promote the causes of berger disease like low socioeconomic groups and poor hygienic persons affected more the familial history is also reported autoimmune factor is also responsible mostly the cigarette cigarette smoking persons having excess smoking more than 20 cigarette persons have history of chain smoker the smoking index si number of cigarette smoke per day si into number of years of smoking in this the si is more than 300 is a risk factor pack year index pyi that is the number of years of smoking into number of packets of cigarette per day pyi is more than 40 is a risk factor the cno uh, criteria for berger diseases are like tobacco use only in males diseases starts before 45 years distal extremity involved first without embolic or atherosclerotic features absence of diabetic mellitus or hyperlipidemia and with or without thrombophlebitis as i already told that it is most common in male and lesser in female smokers generally 
रिच फाइब्रोजन एंड हाइपर एग्रीबिलिटी ऑफ प्लेटलेट सीन द आटोनॉमिक ओवर एक्टिविटी विथ सीवियर पेरिफेरल बैसोस्पाद मिल आल्सो सीन इन बर्जस डिजीज एज हॉट्स आर द पैथोलॉजी इन बर्जस डिजीज एज The dense fibrotic reactions with the inflamed arterial wall involving adjacent veins and nerves are commonly seen in Berger disease. In early phase, the superficial phlebitis is seen. Usually involve medium and small size arteries and artery of upper and lower extremities. The blockage causes the patient with limb uh, with ischemia in limbs. The critical limb ischemia develop that leads to rest pain ulcerations. and gangrenous changes initial migratory recurrent superficial phlebitis features seen acute lesion have acute arthritis and periarthritis acute phlebitis and periphlebitis in chronic lesion adhesion in artery vein and in nerve seen to cause agonizing pain elastic lamina of artery thickened so these overall are the pathological features which causes burger disease the clinical features of burger disease as shown in the figure the signs and symptoms are that is uh, the burger disease common in male smokers tobacco users and the age group of 20 to 40 years commonly the sign of peripheral ischemic ischemia seen intermittent claudication in foot and calf muscle suckers patient have complain of rest pain ulcerations gangrene depends upon the chronicity of the disease the mostly in upper limb and recurrent migratory superficial thrombophlebitis seen pain while walking or exercise patient complain that pain while walking or exercise pain is basically due to the phlebitis and ischemic neuritis the gangrenous features are gangrenous changes which uh, tissue death is seen in chronic cases how to diagnose a case of burger disease as the most of the cases provisionally diagnosed on the basis of history and examination the inspection initially no sign seen if gangrene and ischemic develop then sharp demarcation seen good circulation in adjacent tissues seen sign of chronic ischemia ulceration gangrene up to distally near the nail and it extended gradually these are the features of the burger disease on inspection palpation in lower limb absence of posterior tibial and dorsalis pedis pulses in upper limb absence of radial pulses and bilateral absence of pulses uh, uh, is diagnostic for burger disease how to diagnose the next uh, investigate the next one is the investigation cbc check the hemoglobin level blood sugar level to differentiate uh, to make differential diagnosis among the diseases that mimic with burger disease arteriography normal Uh, larger arteries occlusion of smaller arteries and extensive collateral circulation are seen in arteriography arterial doppler and duplex scan doppler with three uh, with b mode usg is uh, common investigations to diagnose burger disease transfemoral retrograde angiogram transbrachial angiogram usg abdomen usg abdomen is used to assess the abdominal aorta status any uh, blockage or any deformity in the abdominal aorta site biopsy of the vein artery and nerve are required occasionally if there is any doubt in the making the diagnosis complications of burger disease patients may develop severe pain ulcers that are the non healing in nature infections necrosis gangrene or tissue damage tissue death amputation for patient finally goes to amputation for to save the life rarely the occlusion of coronary artery and renal arteries also seen the management of the burger disease 
थ्री आस्पेक्ट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट ऑफ प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स एंड केयर कंजर्वेटिव केयर एंड सर्जिकल केयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्मोकिंग स्टॉप इट इमीडिएटली एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल टू स्टॉप द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ द डिजीज एंड इट इज हेल्पफुल इन क्योरिंग द कंडीशंस एंड पेन मैनेजमेंट कंजर्वेटिव मैनेजमेंट वेरियस ड्रग्स आर एडवाइज आर इनलिस्टेड इन बुक्स फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ बर्जर डिजीज लाइक पेन किलर बैसोडाइलेटर्स एंटी कोगलेंट्स डेक्स्ट्रॉन फेनिल ब्यूटोजोन स्टीरोड्स प्रोस्टाग्लेंडिन थेरेपी प्रोस्टासाइक्लिन्स टिक्लोपिडिन प्राक्सीटिलिन क्लोपीडोग्रल एटोरबेस्टेटिन एंड पार्बोस्टेटिन साइलोस्टेजॉल एट्सेट्रा दी ड्रग्स आर फ्रीक्वेंटली प्रैक्टिस बाय क्लिनिशियन इन कंडीशंस ऑफ द पेशेंट्स एंड सिचुएशन आर कंडीशंस ऑफ द डिजीज डिपेंड अपॉन द केसेस टू केसेस द सर्जिकल मैनेजमेंट सिंपथेटेक्टोमी एज ए पेन रिलीवर्स द सिंपथेक्टोमी प्रोसीडर इज यूज एज ए पेन रिलीवर फॉर द पेशेंट The arterial reconstruction is very difficult, which are damaged during the progressive phase of the Berger disease. The wound and gangrene management are advised, may require surgical interventions. The amputation treatment of choice when gangrene develops. Gangrene de causes tissue death, death or particular uh, fingers or hands. destroyed during the gangrenous changes in this the amputation therapy or amputation surgical procedure is adopted to save the life of the patient various ayurvedic managements are uh, uses for the treatment of burger diseases and go and give the significant role result many drugs of ayurveda a uh, like gogulu preparations and rakt prasadak drugs are blood purifying and the drugs which enhance the circulation of the bloods are advised along with pathya and apathya various diets do's and don'ts are indicated for the management of uh, burger disease and practiced by the clinician the most important therapy for the management of burger disease is the leech therapy leech therapy is a marvelous blood letting practices in ayurveda and is helpful in uh, releasing the obstruction in the arterial wall reducing the inflammation pain and make the healthier conditions of the arterial diseases or rp so ayurvedic drugs along with leech therapy is popular for the management of uh, burger disease or thromboangiitis obliterans in current scenario i think i able to present the basic about the uh, burger diseases Thanks for your patience listening thank you thank you so much